Hey, my legion. <clears throat> hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm back with another Wegmans review. <clears throat> my buddy John was nice enough to get this for me. He bought one for me and one for himself. And uh, he said these were $2.12. So Wegmans is expensive. And this is a, a <clears throat> like a, a similar like a cheese snack, but made with navy beans. Come on, baby, eat navy beans. There's some um, song that they had. They had some, like, really silly songs on AFN with the Armed Forces Network on in Germany. They was, like, suddenly he was doing, like, some nutrition song. Like, come on, buddy, eat navy beans. Come on, buddy, it's good for you. Like that. Bean-based snack. Baked mac and cheese crunch. No info on the back. It's really weird that it's, uh, like, blank right there. Now, John tried these last night. I didn't get his reaction. He said these suck. He said the aftertaste was terrible and stuff like that. I'm going to find it for myself. So let's go ahead. That's why I wanted to get my reaction and get in front of the camera. And he said they suck, so. Let's see if they do suck. Well, he said they suck, so. I mean, you know. Oh, gosh. One of you got to tear down the side. I hate that. I like when they have it like you can tear down. I know Robert Dyer doesn't like the one you tear down the side. And it's like. Yeah, I'll tear it down the side. Not worth the effort. The struggle is real, people. Oh. Even tearing it down the side is kind of rough. I think I had, like, pampa, pampas, or pampas, or something like a bean-based snack before, I think, or peanut-based snack or something from, like, the Amish place. And I see those. i never seen it before. Uh, and then I got it from the other place. They smell, they smell like cheese. Time out. And John said they taste bad, and then the aftertaste is weird. Here's what they look like. They taste like they're okay. I mean, there's not anything. Well, not anything that fancy. I mean, it's not. First of all, keep my hand. Keep the mouse, the thing off the record button because I don't want to stop recording. Um, they're okay. Let me do that right there. What do it taste like? I said, I, I, you know, I always talk about my grandma and stuff like that. Of course, for the most part, she was cheap. But I mean, every so often she'd get stuff. She used to get, one thing she used to get, I never found anywhere else was. Um, I guess for like a cereal, it was Popeye's Puff Corn. And I guess it was like a cereal or something like that. I don't think I ever put milk or anything like that. I mean, I just ate, and it tastes, this kind of tastes like that. You know, it's not bringing back any, well, I mean, it's bringing back memories a little bit, but. I don't think that's what they're going for. Um. It's just very pedestrian. I like that. I do like that flavor. I like that popcorn type flavor from Popeyes, though. Not being confused with Popeyes chicken. And I really, <clears throat> our Popeyes kind of sucks. So I don't know if I'll be going back to Popeyes. If I mean, if we do eventually, maybe I don't know. I mean, it's so the one place out of the way. If anything, I'd rather go back go to Jersey Mike's for the first time. That'd be cool. But wait till the weather gets better. You know. It's just, I mean, just Popeye's so far out of the way. We can go to KFC. And the last time I went to Popeye's, I was, yeah, I, I didn't lie. Our Popeye sucks. Um, this is very unimpressive. Um, for two dollars and twelve cents, it's insane. I don't think I hate them. as much as John does, but. I get the flavor of puff corn. You know, it's supposed to be uh, bean, puff beans, or whatever. The bean and rice. Oh, wait a second. Wait, let me look. It's a bean and rice blend. Navy beans, flour, navy bean flour, plus white rice and tap tapioca starch. What it is? I mean, nothing knock your socks off in it. $2.12 for this. It should be really good. It's not. It's very pedestrian. I guess a, a 
I'm out four out of ten. That's not that good. I mean, it's all right, but not worth the two dollars and twelve cents. That's insane. But I mean, that's Wegmans for you. I mean, cause that's probably the most. Well, I mean, well, first of all, thank you, John, for being kind to get this for me. I appreciate it. I really do. And like the prices of the small chips are getting really outrageous too. And if anyone she's seen the stuff like that, let's get like one that that they're like a dollar now for like a regular one ounce bag, you know. But these was two twelve. That's pretty pricey. Oh well. Thank you very much, John, for getting me these. I'm glad I tried them. For the beauty and everybody. Hope you like the video, everybody. Till next time, please take care of my legion.